Do crew, it's Boss Lady. Happy Saturday. I hope everybody having a great all-star weekend. As for me, I'm about to go back and watch the rest of the dunk contest and get ready for the game for tomorrow. So I'm picking up some things for this weekend. What are you guys doing and what are you guys eating? I love you. I'll be right back with you. Some of the stuff I got so far. I'm thinking about making some um, quesadillas or enchilada pie or something like that with this stuff for this weekend. Um, I'm looking at all this candy. No, I don't need none, but it's just calling me. So I think get one of those. And those. So yeah. I don't know what else I want. Everything just looks good right now. So yeah, I'll be back with you guys in a minute. I am totally pissed off because I came to get some of this and there's no more left every time they got everything else but what I needed today tell me do you guys get upset when they don't have what you want when you're trying to get what you need I was going way to LA for this now I know they got it here and be getting it here that stuff is bomb for uh, jerk chicken y'all you buy it in bulk and it's less expensive and you get more of it for you and your family so, that's what i love about this stuff what kind of seasons do you guys use this candy y'all uh, omg so i don't know what i want first so much good stuff it's like candy heaven Those are the bomb. Those are the bomb. But I gotta get some of these. Yeah. Hold it on me. I gotta get some of these, you know. These are my favorite. What it do for what y'all up to? I'm here getting all the snacks and all the goodies. What are you guys doing? How was your day? And uh, what you doing this evening? I just gotta get deep in there. I gotta get deep in there. I, I, I gotta get deep in there. I love y'all. And I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Ooh. It's all picked over. Well, I want that dried out stuff. I'm gonna just cook tonight. No, thank you. Mm, no. Only thing that look good is the wedges. That's about it. Look at that one for Ooh, uh-uh. We gonna cook tonight. I like those. Them look good. That's fun. about it. That looks good, too. Some of it look old. Some look fresh. What it do, crew? Welcome to Boss Lady's Kitchen. Hey, 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 hey. I'm making quesadillas, black beans, and some salad today. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna open my can of black beans. Got two of these. You could get both of these at your nearest grocery store for under about $2 for both of these cans. If you like pinto beans or, you know, pin, you know, black eyed peas or, you know, northern beans, whatever kind of beans you like. Just get my can opener right here. Some people like to boil theirs overnight in a crock pot. I do that too, but 
this is some, you know, quick but still tasty. If you don't have time for all that. When you're hungry, still get that taste. So I'm going to put uh, some black pepper. Some oregano seasoning. I use no salt season salt because I have high blood pressure and it helps out keeping it at a good level. And garlic powder. Okay. We're gonna go like this a little bit. Get that going on a low simmer. bit of ground turkey already over there so I'm gonna open this pack let me show you guys what I'm doing I got this ground turkey right here for about uh four bucks for this pack I got this one on sale as you see for less than three dollars at your nearest grocery store you just gotta go and catch it at night people so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open this one Just like that. Let me wash my hands right here for a second. Before it's such a mini meat, you gotta wash your hands. meat off of my fingers make sure you do that too get all that your meal excuse my voice my allergies bothering me a little bit right now so now I'm gonna open this pack remember the sweet Italian sausage I got I'm about to cut those up you guys probably wondering what I'm gonna do with that I'm going to dice these up and put it in there with the ground turkey. And we're going to make the meat for the quesadillas with it. See how that's just coming out nicely. Like this. So. It's coming out like that. So I might just mix it in just like ground turkey for real. Cause I got the little casing and I'm cutting it. And you can just cut it how you want it. Thin or bigger, whatever you prefer. But I just see the casing's cutting thin, so I could just keep going. Or if you don't like them that thick, all you have to do is do yours like this. And put that right there. Keep it like that. So you could do them small like that too. It's up to you how you want yours. I'm about to do, I'm mashing mine up and I'm grinding mine with my other little turkey meat I already have here. For these quesadillas I'm about to make. So that's why I'm cutting mine like that. Make sure that doesn't fall off. Yes. Yeah, that's a little chunky so I'm going to cut that in half. Keep going. Remember, do yours the size that you want yours to be. This is just what I want to do. What I'm making. You might want to do yours a little bit different here. 
Put one of the pins coming back over here. We're gonna get that going. Pull up out of medium. Touch your hair while you're cooking. That's unsanitary. You want to stay clean. Don't go touching your pet and doing other things and then come and touching your food. You got to stay clean, folks. Come on now. You want to, you know, be clean, sanitary, and stay from getting sick. As for me, I'm just got a little... Allergy and sinus going on. Weather change. I just came from out of town. You know, you go through different cities and it's different weather. You bound to catch a cold. Everybody know that. So, I'm okay with that. But I wanted to do this video to uh, show you guys how I do my thing. Ah, I can't get it open. Okay, black pepper. Caesar salt. Garlic powder. Let me use a little bit of this too. Slap your mama. It's like a Cajun seasoning. That's it. I'm gonna let that cook. Well, that's cooking. Let the rest this off. One second. What it do, crew? Welcome to Boss Lady's Kitchen. Hey, 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 hey. I'm making quesadillas, black beans, and some salad today. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to open my can of black beans. Got two of these. You could get both of these at your nearest grocery store for under about $2 for both of these cans. If you like pinto beans or, you know, pin, you know, black eyed peas or, you know, northern beans, whatever kind of beans you like. Just get my can opener right here. This other one open here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is go over here. I'll just bring this right here so you guys can see. I'm gonna use this. Open up. the boil there's overnight in the crock pot I do that too but this is some you know quick but still tasty if you don't have time for all that and you're hungry you still get that taste so I'm gonna put uh, some black pepper some oregano Seasoning. Okay. I use no salt seasoned salt because I have high blood pressure and it helps out keeping it at a good level. And garlic powder. Okay. 
like this a little bit. Get that going on a low center. Okay. I got a little bit of ground turkey already over there. So I'm gonna open this pack. Let me show you guys what I'm doing. I got this ground turkey right here for about uh, four bucks for this pack. I got this one on sale, as you see, for less than $3 at your nearest grocery store. You just gotta go and catch it at night, people. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open this one. Poke a hole. Just like that. Let me wash my hands right here for a second. Before it's such a mini meat, you gotta wash your hands. Okay. So I got that done. Now, I'm gonna put this hand over here. Separated that. So now put that there. I gotta this just so it's meat off of my fingers. Make sure you do that too. Get all that your nail. Excuse my voice, my allergies bothering me a little bit right now. So now I'm gonna open this pack. Remember the sweet Italian sausage I got? I'm about to cut those up. You guys probably wonder what I'm gonna do with that. So I'm gonna dice these up and put it in there with the ground turkey. Then we're gonna make the meat for the quesadillas with it. See how that's just coming out nicely? That's it, like this. So. So, I might just mix it in just like ground turkey for real. Because I got the little casing. And I'm cutting it. And you can just cut it how you want it. Thin or bigger, whatever you prefer. And I just see the casing's cutting thin, so I could just keep going. Or, if you don't like them that thick, all you have to do is do yours like this. And put that right there. Keep it like that. Let's see, you could do them small like that too. It's up to you how you want yours. I'm about to do, I'm mashing mine up and I'm grinding mine with my other little turkey meat I already have here. For these quesadillas I'm about to make. So that's why I'm cutting mine like that. Make sure that doesn't fall off. Yes. That's a little chunky, so I'm gonna cut that in half. Keep going. Remember, do yours the size that you want yours to be. This is just what I want to do. What I'm making. You might want to do yours a little bit different here. Putting them in the pan and coming back over here. We're going to get that going. All about a medium. Okay, I got that one. Okay. Don't touch your hair while you're cooking. That's unsanitary. You want to stay clean. Don't go touching your pet and doing other things and then come and touching your food. You gotta stay clean, folks. Come on now. You wanna, you know, be clean, sanitary, and stay from getting sick. As for me, I've just got a little allergy and sinus going on, weather change. I just came from out of town. You know, you go through different cities and it's different weather, you bound to catch a cold. 
everybody know that. So I'm okay with that. But I wanted to do this video to uh, show you guys how I do my thing. Ah, I can't get it open. Okay, black pepper. Caesar salt. Garlic powder. Let me use a little bit of this too, slap your mama. It's like a Cajun seasoning. That's it. I cook. Well, that's cooking. Let the rest this off. One second. So this is our meat mixture right here. I apologize. So we're gonna wait for that to get done. Update on my meat. It's almost done. Looking so yummy in this big old pan. Then we got these black beans over here. So next, I'll be showing you guys how to make my quesadillas. Hey. Alright, I got more green onion, but I don't need any more, so we're gonna put this in the refrigerator. Now I need to get my tortilla ready. Diana's, they got a famous restaurant out here in Cali. So if you ever come out here and you want a good Mexican burrito or a plate or something of that sort, they're open 24 hours. They are so good. So I had to get two of those bad boys. Yeah, baby. You know how we do. It's Boss Lady TV. You cooking with me? Got this meat mixture still going over here. Just about done. Look how good that looks. Don't that look just yummy? how we do in my kitchen. So we got these over here simmering, mixing the black beans. Show you how those are looking. So that's how my black beans is looking. Yes, yeah, it got that good juice in there. Alright, 
And now we're about to cut this. And warm up this pan so we can get these uh, quesadillas going, guys. So we're going to cut that. Turn this on a little. You don't want to burn your stuff. You want to cook it right Put it on there like that. I don't know, she's just a bit of a... That's still the corner. Okay, I'm going to see a little corner. That cheese. I got this other one. I'm going to stop playing and just take it out. And I have leaves right there. So, I'm going to put this in there in just a second. Bring this chair up here. I just throw that on top of that tortilla right there. I was waiting. So, we're going to put this in there. Yes, guys, we're going to put that right there. Let's get the spatula in here. Let's see. Sorry, yo. Yeah. I put my hair back out of my way. I'm about to be done. Now I'm just trying to get this one in here. Some cheese on there. Boy, ready to go. Put that there. And keep my bread. 
really wet here. Put those away, guys. So that's what's going on right now. We're gonna get ready to flip this, guys. Ooh, yes. I'm a G like that. I do this. So this is what we doing. A little bit of the meat came out. Yeah. So we're just gonna throw it back in there. <laughs> it's folding a little bit. Bam. There we go. Cook on there. Look how pretty that looks. So let me check. Look how that cook. There. You guys, look at that. Look how good that looks. Look at the cut through, y'all. I'm gonna be flipping this and then the second one, and I'll be with you guys in a sec. So, yeah, I'm back. I'm on the fourth one right here. I got it cooking. Ready to flip it, but it's not quite just ready. Cooking on another one above there. Yes. Playful. Well, it's all ready to go. It's not done yet. So, yeah. I this other pack right here. I gotta open. Fresh cucumbers. Maybe can get one of those while waiting to take that out. Make sure it's not burning, guys. Just gotta flip that and let it boom. Flip that. Then we'll come right here. This little mess. I'm back in a flash. So now I'm going to cut this. Found the deal today, two for a dollar, which was cool. So I'm gonna cut about to there. I always like to eat more. <laughs> Check on this. Look how pretty that looks. Fresh tomatoes. Let's 
fair. You know. Most of it. that pan real good. Go back here, put the butter back on top of the microwave. So I'm gonna cut this up. Leave it to my finger here. All this greatness right here. Let's keep you living longer right here, baby. Greatness. Let's eat more of this, guys. Let's put it in our diet. Find the time. We find money to do everything else. Let's find money to stay alive and be healthy. Healthy, healthy, healthy. This is the finished product, guys. This is how I'm going to present my food when I get my restaurant. To show you guys my plate right here. And this is how the inside of this look. Look how, just look. Yes. I'm about to get to this. Let me know through the comments what you guys think. And I'll be back with you guys soon. One love. Bless up. Peace. Later.